This is a Windows Phone 7 app review of Deluxe Moon, which is available in the marketplace for $2.99. This is a neat little app that lets you view a bunch of different information about the moon and lunar patterns and everything else that you could want to know about the solar system as it relates to the moon. So once you open the application, you're brought to this and you can see what the moon is like right now and as you can see where I am right now it figures out where you are by your current location here at positioning it uses your uh, GPS satellites there and it gets your time and date from your phone and then it gives you information based off of that so as you can see I have a new moon right now that means if I go outside I wouldn't see a moon at all and so it tells you the moon phase there. It tells you the sign of the moon, which you can look at in more detail over here, the zodiac signs. And you can switch from tropical zodiac and Sargatus zodiac or whatever. Or what is that? Side real zodiac. Um and if you don't know what those signs mean, you can click the help button and you can go to some wiki links that talk about them. I'm not into any of those zodiac signs or anything, so I don't know too much about them, but they're all there, and if you want to view what the signs will be on different days, you can just click over there and click through different days and view them. So it has a really nice graphical interface that works really well. And so... There's also a calendar which shows you all the moon cycles here. And today is Thursday the 4th there. So you click on that, it's 45% to a full moon. And it's 6.9 days into its cycle. Oh, that's actually the 11th, I'm sorry. 4th. So it's still a new moon, 0% and half into the day. But a week later, as you saw when I clicked on the 11th, it's like that. So you can get all that data there. And when you go back here, let's change it back to today. So it shows your current time there, because you don't have your status bar to view. So it's nice that it shows your time there. And it gets your time zone correct. And down here, it shows when the moon will rise. And I have it set to 24 hour time right now, because I think that's a lot easier to deal with than AM, PM stuff but you can change that over here use 24 hour time and so that means that the moon is actually going to rise for me at 737 in the morning well it actually did rise at 737 in the morning and the moon set is 1807 which is 607 p.m. so it actually set before it even got dark so that's, I'm not really an astronomer, but I'm guessing that's why we have a new moon. You can go and advance through all the days and go to like the, maybe 11th there, as we were looking at the calendar there. And for some reason that one doesn't show that stuff, but it shows your zodiac sign and the percent and everything. And on the 12th, it shows that the moon will be setting, it changes those sometimes depending on uh, how far it is into the cycle. So the moon will actually be rising at 1146, which is still in the morning there, and it sets at 035, which is just after midnight of that day. And then there's also the, is it Nadir? That's when the moon is directly above your location. So that's at 6.10, so that's still in the morning. But it would possibly still be light out then. And you can check out your zodiac signs. And so overall the app is pretty polished. It is kind of laggy sometimes when you go through this. There's some lag there. But the animations going through each page are really cool. It's actually, I think it might be slightly laggier than normal because I'm syncing my phone with my Zoom music right now. But what's really cool is 
it has a nice animation for just like the help sign there when you slide over. Just kind of disappears, rotates off. So there's some really nice attention to detail, just like the actual Windows Phone interface. And so there's your Zodiac calendar thing. And then you have your options. And that's about everything there is. So that's a really great and really accurate application and if you want to jump back to your current day you can just click there and it's pretty impressive just to check out all the astronomical stuff and how we can actually know what the moon is going to be like in those next days and everything. And this app brings it to you in a really nice interface and it also gives you those help buttons so you can actually learn about this stuff like I knew absolutely nothing about, oh, I think I even said that wrong before, Zenith. I don't even know if I'm saying that right anymore. Zenith? But that's when the moon is directly above you. It's that time there. I read it wrong before. So, it's a great application if you're in, like, an astronomy class or something like that. Perfect application for you uses your GPS location to find all the relevant moon information about you and gives you really great visuals and it's clear and great design to the application and it's usually pretty fast. Gives you all this, even the latitude and longitude of the moon and oh, the azimuth, that's where the moon is based on your location and the coordinates are based off the north, south, east, west. So, like today, the moon rise, azimuth, I think I'm saying it right, I hope. <laughs> the moon rise, azimuth, is at 115 degrees and it actually goes to be that accurate there. And as you can see, it updates kind of like actually live updating data there. Because the azimuth for the moon currently even updated slightly. And it's really accurate, it goes to the degrees, and then, I think, do you just call them feet and inches? Pretty sure that's what they call them. So it goes that accurate, and moonrise azimuth is where the moon will rise according to your location. So, 115, it'd be rising southeast. So, if you know a lot about astronomy, you'll probably love this application. And even if you don't know much about it, but you're just interested in checking out when you can see the best um, moon rises and moon sets, then this is a great application to help you with that. You can buy Deluxe Moon in the marketplace for $2.99.